front. All right, don't move a toe on the next. Best thing smoking like young Joe. You want to get high, I'm rolling up here. Here to take a toe. The beat hitting harder than a rhinoceros. Going off that Pinopolis. Nigga, I'm high as a kite. Fly as a dove. Rolling in my Yoda. Surrounded by a dozen. I'm about to rim up. Tip my windows. Throw my system in it. Hitting from the subs to the gloves. Don't grill, you ain't Paul Wall. What you think we here for? They ain't call y'all. The sour run, we came the ball. We on the court, best believe we gonna score. We gonna change some things. Take back the neighborhoods and invest some change. We got shooters everywhere that are blasting. Think we'd rather get blown like Snoop or Pharrell. Cha-ching and stay. High as a kite, fly as a dove. High as a kite, fly as a dove. High as a kite, fly as a dove. Rockin' with my nigga Fifth, Fifth, Fifth. High as a kite, fly as a dove. High as a kite, fly as a dove. High as a kite, fly as a dove. Rockin' with my nigga Fifth, Fifth, Fifth. Nigga stand real right. That goose got a nigga feeling real tight. Them J's got a nigga feeling real fly. That fruit that I'm serving keep them hoes nigga real high. That crown P I G P O P P A. No info for the D E A. Federal agents mad 'cause I'm flagrant. Tap myself and the phone in the basement. My team supreme, stay clean. Never could dream I'd be that. Catch a seat at all events, bent. Boy, I told ya, me and Mike to me, lose too much. I lose too much. Step on stage, the girl do too much. Welcome back to the Dog Stewart Show. <laughs> Throwback Thursday, throwing it back to 1997. The great Biggie Smalls, rest in peace, passed away that year. Um, so we're talking about it today, as well as this uh, Tony Romo story, NFL free agency. We'll get into that here in a second, man. Hey, check this out, man. Yesterday. Not only did we drop a YouTube video yesterday, we dropped two of them. <laughs> we dropped two of them. Uh, I've been on this uh, Cleveland kick over the last couple of weeks, man. I binge watch shit. That's, that's pretty much what I do now. And so I used to watch Cleveland as it was, uh, you know, on live or the or the most recent episodes on TV, I think on Fox. Um, but so in the Fire Stick, they got them on Netflix. And so I've been going back and watching it. So the the, the chick that plays Cleveland's wife, wife, her name is Donna. And and her character is voiced by Sanaa Lathan. <laughs> and I guess what they are making an attempt to do a lot of times, man, and it's funny, but it's not funny sometimes. Sometimes they go a little bit over the top. But I guess in their mind, they stereotypically think that a black lady, you know, sounds like, you know, goes off. And so Sanaa Lathan, a lot of times for this character, Donna, she'll be like, not only one, but two. And then. <laughs> so, like, she would just be talking real calm and Sanaa Lathan-like in real life. And then anytime she'd be like, Cleveland, bring your ass here. And and so it's just crazy. So we dropped two videos yesterday, man. Christian McCaffrey slept on, um, as well as Bill Polian then lost his damn mind. 
And so if you listen to the show, you heard me talk about both of those, but we dropped two of those videos at TDSS on YouTube.com. All right, and there's uh, many, many more. We've been doing them since uh, 2001, ever since we got our, our necks chopped off at the radio station we worked at. <laughs> right. So, so uh, go to TDSS on YouTube.com and check out the most recent videos from the Doug Stewart Show. <laughs> Punk ass Bill Polian. So make sure, make sure you subscribe. This is the most important thing. When you check out the YouTube videos, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, and I think you can only subscribe by watching it on the computer. I don't think the subscribe option is on your uh, mobile device. But anyway, there's a subscribe button within the video, and there's also a subscribe button if you're watching on the phone. I think there's a, a subscribe button underneath the video as well. And they're between like three and sometimes they'll go a little long, nine minutes or something like that. But they're real quick, and it's kind of like the choice cuts. From uh, the Doug Stewart Show. Man, take your ass over there and watch the Doug Stewart Show on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. All right, so NFL free agency. Teams can sign players today. Here are some of the more prominent names that already got deals. Kenny Stills um, going to re-sign with the Miami Dolphins. Uh, Dwayne Allen, the tight end, coming from the Colts, going to New England Patriots. Yeah, so Dwayne Allen, coming from the Colts, real solid tight end. I think Dwayne Allen played at Clemson. I believe he did. Um, so what that means probably is Martellus Bennett is going to be allowed to leave. Uh, so Dwayne Allen... Uh, from the Colts to the to the New England Patriots, Patriots continue to do what the hell they do. Speaking of the Patriots, Stephon Gilmore, defensive back for the Buffalo Bills, probably you know one of the top tier defensive backs in football. Former University of South Carolina defensive back, uh, he's going to the freaking New England Patriots. Man, I'll tell you what. Oh, man. You know, it really hurts me, and I, I talked about this a couple of days ago. It really hurts me that I'm I'm this big Patriots hater. I mean, I'm on record of being a Patriots hater. And, and you think about it, man, the last two Super Bowls that the Patriots have won, they really shouldn't have won. <laughs> think about that now. Like, literally, the football guys had to step in for the Patriots to win their last two Super Bowls. Two of the craziest things that you will ever see happen. All right? I, I, I mean, oh, my gosh. Uh, obviously, what happened with the New England or the uh, Seattle Seahawks a couple of years ago when it was first and goal on the two-yard line, and they got Marshawn Lynch, and they don't give him the ball, and they throw an interception on the goal line to Malcolm Butler. Like, if it, I wonder what the odds were when they went to the line of scrimmage on first down that they would be able to punch that ball in and win their Super Bowl, second Super Bowl in a row. I mean, the, the, the stats, the, the odds had to be very, very high. And they didn't do it, and the Patriots win another damn Super Bowl. And then this past year, oh, Lord. Now that he gets Stephon Gilmore, one of the better cornerbacks in the NFL, uh, kind of like an old-school cover-type corner, man. They make a deal for him. Uh, the 49ers, I guess the 49ers, uh, they like Brian Hoyer, which I never understood why everybody likes Brian Hoyer. Brian Hoyer doesn't have 50-11 jobs, 50-11 opportunities to start. Um, but he's come to an agreement with the San Francisco 49ers. So Kyle Shanahan... I don't know if uh, if this is going to be their guy or what, but it sounds like uh, he's going to get a two-year, $12 million deal. That's only $6 million a year. I guess that's a good price for a backup, so we'll see what happens with the 49ers. Uh, the Bills, speaking of the Bills and letting uh, Stephon Gilmore 
go and sign with the New England Patriots. The Bills agreed to a deal with Mike Tolbert, former fullback for the Carolina Panthers. That's no real big deal. Mike Tolbert carried the ball probably three, four times a year. Played for Coastal Carolina. That's the only reason I brought that up. So I root for that guy, an uh, old-school fullback. But he's going to the Bills. Uh, Brandon LaFell is going to stay with the Cincinnati Bengals, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show on a two-year deal. He played pretty good last year. That was one of Cam's targets in Carolina, man, but really based on what everybody thought he was going to be coming out of college, really was a disappointment in Carolina. Uh, in Carolina. Last year played, in relative terms, pretty good for the Bengals. Uh, and also, uh, who do we got here? That's it. Oh, oh, um, Deshaun, what's the kid's name? You're listening to the Doug Stewart show. I want to say Deshaun Watson, but not Deshaun Watson. Uh, what's his name? Deshaun Jackson. So Deshaun Jackson, man, is going to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> Wow. You talk about weapons. I don't think Deshaun Jackson's lost steps to the point where his skills are diminishing. Uh, he just, they didn't, I guess, want him back or they felt they want to go in a different direction. Maybe it's a salary cap type thing or whatever. But Deshaun Jackson's leaving from the Washington Redskins. By the way, they lost Pierre Garçon as well. <laughs> so that's not a good thing. You keep Kirk Cousins, but you don't have his two top targets. That's not a good thing if you're a Redskins fan. That's definitely not a good thing. But, man, you talk about Tampa Bay with Jameis Winston, who don't mind throwing the ball downfield, and you've got Mike Evans already, who's one of the top, I don't know, 10 wide receivers in the, in the game. And then now you bring on a guy that can stretch the field and loosen up the secondary in the middle of the field so Mike Evans could even have a bigger year. You bring in a 4-2 guy, a guy that probably runs in his 4-3s right now to stretch the field, one of the most dynamic playmakers in the NFL for the last several years. That's a big signing for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Good for them. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, man, Deshaun Jackson. And Mike Evans, Jameis Winston, that's a good move. That's a good move. A lot more moves to be made. Today uh, we'll probably hear about more moves throughout the show and throughout today as well. We'll keep our eye on the little ticker as far as uh, breaking news. But that's a good sign. That's probably – that might even be a better sign than Brandon Marshall going to the Giants. It might even be a better deal than that because I think that uh, in relative terms to the comparison like the most – or the uh, output that you're going to get. I think Deshaun Jackson and Tampa will probably make a bigger impact than Brandon Marshall will uh, in New York for the Giants. You know, the Giants, they got their young guys, their young wide receivers. And uh, Odell Beckham Jr. and the Sterling kid. Uh, it's going to be a big, a big, you know, deal uh, for Eli Manning. But, but I think, Who's going to have a bigger impact? Who's going to help Jameis Winston's bottom line as far as stats? And who's going to help Mike Evans even flourish more? I think Deshaun Jackson in, uh, in Tampa Bay. What are your thoughts? Let me read some of these messages in the chat room on Spreaker.com. From uh, Grego Squad laughing out loud, that's how she sounds for real. <laughs> oh, he's talking about the, uh, the Donna thing. From Cleveland. That's exactly how she sounds. From Andre Elam, Ty should have been playing Frank Jackson earlier, but Duke will be a problem in the big dance, though. Talking about some college uh, basketball from Big L X Squad. Very true, Ty. Lil Pong, Grayson never played any street ball. He would know better if he did. Clearly, Grayson Allen, he got another technical, was it yesterday or the day before, I think? Um... I've said it many times before, man. Grayson Allen not going to change, and it's almost like that's just part of him or that that's just how he does it. I don't know whether 
Uh, you know, like my man Big L says, he never played no playground basketball.